In 2011, I had a mental breakdown that left me suicidal, depressed, dangerously anxious, depersonalized, and completely hopeless. For about a year, they tried me on a slew of psych medications, everything from antipsychotics, antidepressants, old tricyclics, mood stabilizers, cocktails of all of those things combined. We tried that and nothing was working. And at one point, I was suggested and informed that there was another option. My psychiatrist said there was this treatment known as RTMS, which is Repetitive Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation. I did that treatment for many, many, many weeks. And for whatever reason, I never spoke about the results or my experience doing that treatment on this channel, which has documented my entire mental health journey. That's what we're gonna do in this video. What's going on guys, my name is Noah. Thank you for joining me in this video. I'm going to do my best to recall my entire experience with RTMS shock therapy. I really am surprised that I've never spoken about it before on this channel. Perhaps one of the main reasons is that I didn't end up having tremendous results from it, but it was a very interesting experience and I at least want to reflect a little bit with you. So like I said in the intro, I was dealing with a massive uh, mental breakdown mood disorder problem. And after trying a lot of psych meds that didn't work, we were looking for options. RTMS was brought up as a potential treatment option and I applied because uh, I got a referral from my psychiatrist, as I recall, and we tried. I live in Oregon, and they had a facility that administered this treatment in Corvallis. So I remember going down there uh, to Corvallis. I stayed the night at the Ronald McDonald Foundation House, actually. And in the morning, uh, I met with the doctor, met with the technician who's gonna be administering this treatment, and I kind of learned a little bit about what I might need to expect. I also filled out a form. Basically, they, they had me answer questions, and I believe it was one of those things where like, uh, rate your depression on a scale of one to five. You know, five being the worst, uh, one being not so bad. And I did that. It was basically to check how I was doing mentally going in to see if perhaps I was going to improve after treatment. RTMS is repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation. During an RTMS session, an electromagnetic coil is placed against your scalp near your forehead. The electromagnetic painlessly, mostly painlessly they should say, uh, delivers a magnetic pulse that stimulates nerve cells in the region of your brain involved in mood control and depression. You know like when Arnold Schwarzenegger back in Total Recall gets put in that um, that chair and they're putting that thing over his head because he's about to go into a dream state or whatever? It's like half of that. It just feels like there's this, it, they kind of like take it over like the arm moves much like a light does at a dentist's office. And then this thing gets placed on a side of your brain, right? And if I recall correctly, it kind of ends up moving around and being adjusted throughout what I believe was a 45 minute treatment. I was so anxious and so depressed and such a mess that I was just desperate for anything to work and I knew that this was a less aggressive version of ECT by a long shot. So what I remember is sitting in this chair, I think the sessions were 45 minutes like I said, they place this thing on you and they let you know, get ready, it's going to feel like you're getting basically flicked. Uh, on the side of the head or, or just above you know the, the middle part of your head. And that's exactly what it ends up being. The repetitive aspect of this is that once it's on you, it's almost like you're getting a little shock, but it doesn't like affect, it didn't affect any of my, let's say reflexes or something. It's not like my hand was going like this every time I got shocked, but it was just on here and it was uncomfortable. It just wasn't painful per se. Does that make sense? It was just uncomfortable. Now, I, I was kind of excited for the possibility of not being suicidally depressed. so. I was able to check the discomfort at the door and not, not pay it much mind. I've got a bunch of tattoos, I've been through pain, and if you've been through depression and anxiety, you can handle pain. And so that type of pain isn't so bad. Over and over and over again. We did that many, many times. Um, I think I did it very aggressively for a couple weeks. And then if I'm not mistaken, the treatment plan was then like maintenance sessions, maybe twice a week or something like that, for maybe six weeks to eight weeks. It didn't really work. Uh, I think that's probably the main reason that I didn't talk about it is because it didn't really work. And when I started this channel, I 
it didn't happen amidst this channel being a thing. It happened before I started this channel. But I remember doing it for those six, eight weeks, having a lot of hope that it was going to, to save me. Um, and then I filled out the form after six to eight weeks of sitting in the damn chair and getting the and it didn't really work. And I remember being really discouraged. The only thing I wondered is if perhaps it made my anxiety a little bit worse. And I remember feeling a little bit more activated afterwards. But according to the paperwork, I did report that I was feeling a little bit better based on the numbers marginally. So what ended up being my saving grace wasn't RTMS. It wound up being testosterone replacement therapy, as a lot of you know. Uh, I wound up having a bunch of blood work done some time later after we're a year and a half into this treatment resistant depression. And it turns out I had extraordinarily low testosterone levels. And then we pursued that avenue and, it, and it's been a tremendous gift in my life to get that adjusted because it, it started leading to my recovery. But that's my RTMS story. Uh, I know it's it's not really a lot to say, right? It's not a lot to explain. It's just sitting in this chair with a tech, with this piece of equipment on your head that they adjust around that just shocks your head um, mildly. It's uncomfortable. It's a little unnerving. It feels really loud, but it's not terribly painful. And I've heard and read, obviously at the time, and I just read a little bit more right now, that it can yield some pretty great results for some people. So I suppose if you're in a pickle and you've tried some traditional medications, you've ruled out blood work, do that, please. Maybe you should talk to your psychiatrist about it. Maybe it'd be an option for you. I certainly like the idea of, of thinking outside the box in that way and, um, and trying to find ways to ease pain and suffering and, and improve mood. As someone who survived mood disorder, I know how painful it is, how scary it is, how hopeless it is, so that's it. If you've experienced repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation uh, therapy like I did for those six to eight weeks, uh, what was your experience like? Please share in the comments below. I will say that the staff was really nice and I am grateful that people were trying to help me. Uh, it just didn't really help me. But it doesn't mean it might not be able to help you. That's all I got. My name is Noah. Thank you for being here on my channel. Got a life update coming soon. Got some other content I've been thinking about, but I'm still dealing with um, a stomach issue that's really occupying a lot of my energy and my attention. So I'm trying to just think of other content to make whilst I deal with what I think is an ulcer. Uh, so I'm working through a treatment plan with my doc. But anyway, I appreciate you guys' this time. Take care.